Hi there. Months ago, I came across an article about this guy, Konstantin Korotov, Korotov, PhD professor. Here is his resume. Deputy Director of St. Petersburg Federal Research Institute of Physical Culture, Professor of Computer Science and Biophysics at St. Petersburg Federal University of Informational Technologies, Mechanics and Optics, Professor of Research in St. Petersburg Academy of Physical Culture, President of the International Union for Medical and Applied Bioelectography and consultant for Avita, uh, Colorado, USA. Basically, this information is offered up as a logical fallacy which states that when we see seemingly impressive credentials and accomplishments, we are to just accept them and any amount of crap that he wants to dish out without question, just because he's so awesome. Everyone knows when you have a PhD, everything you say is golden. But in this case, we are going to attempt to digest his ability to photograph the human soul leaving the body at the time of death. You see, Mr. PhD Professor says that he has invented a way to do this, and I bet you just can't wait to see what it looks like. But first, the article regurgitated some rather mundane examples of Curlian photography that is supposed to indicate this as part of his endeavor. However, this has been around since about 1939 and has been surrounded in myth and a lot of mindless conjecture. The first mythical explanations put forth about Curlian photography was that these photographs were depicting an actual life force, or aura, that many people believe surrounds all living things. New Age spiritualists attribute huge importance to the aura and believe that specially trained aura readers can provide important insights into a person's spiritual, emotional, and physical state. But <clears throat> the process of taking a Curlian photo is a fairly simple one. Uh, first, a sheet of photographic film is placed on top of a metal plate. Uh, then the object that is to be photographed is placed on top of the film. To create the initial exposure, high voltage current is applied to the metal plate. Uh, the electrical corona uh, discharge between the object and the metal plate is captured on the film. The Curlian photograph, which shows a light glowing silhouette around a photographed object, becomes visible as a result of the developing of the film. So. It's just the film capturing the reaction of electricity between the metal plate and whatever is sitting on top of it. If it really shows the life force of objects, then I guess that this quarter must have quite a lot to say about its horrifying existence. Constantine's claim about photographing uh, the human soul is on the face of it a claim without evidence since there is zero scientific evidence that a soul even exists. Now don't beat me up over this. It, it, it exists at a, as a matter of faith, not as a matter of science. And Mr. Ph.D. is a scientist, after all, isn't he? And please don't try to show the evidence that doesn't exist about people who are weighed just prior to and after death and found to have immediately lost some weight. Not saying that it isn't possible, but I seriously doubt that there is any actual reports where a deathly ill person was wheeled down to the morgue in the hospital basement and laid on a cold steel body scale and, and, and just left lying there waiting to die. That shit just doesn't happen. And if you think it did, please validate that one for me. Thank you. So not only does this so-called scientist present the idea of a soul without evidence, but then offers up zero photographs to prove it. Now in the article, a side-by-side -side photo is shown and they give an idea that some people believe that it's the photo showing the soul leaving the body. <clears throat> Pretty cool, isn't it? And that brings us to this article touting the health advantages of taking a sauna. Now here are three photos showing how body heat builds up during this practice. 